In this vlog, I played a little basketball, cleaned up this horrible tire mess, traded my car for a newer one, bought my girlfriend an electric scooter, found this cool app for gas, trimmed my eyebrows, ate a great meal, and went on a shopping spree. Here I am eating a pancake at a gym. Guys, I was an American Ninja Warrior. That was like five, six years ago. I'm not an American Ninja Warrior now. I like to exercise in obstacles. I love obstacle training. But I'm a regular, normal human being, man. Man. I mean, I'm eating a pancake right now at a gym. I have my flaws. I'm not perfect. And my goal is just to feel good, enjoy my life, and make positive changes in my own life. Oh, there you go. This ball is flat. Look at all these tires here. I am tired. I'm tired of these tires. There's a truck that likes to come by and dump their tires off at our gym whenever he feels like it. And it's not cool. And it makes a huge mess like this. Okay, so I lost my keys. I have no idea where my keys are located. I've checked everywhere, checked the bathrooms. Um, I think I might have left, I, I'm pretty sure I took my keys out of my pocket, set them on the floor before moving these tires around. Let's check the cameras and see what happened. What am I doing, guys? Okay, nope, grab my jacket and I'm walking and my I left my keys behind. My keys are right there. Where are you going? Don't leave your keys. Don't do it. And I left my keys. Oh, so somebody's walking? Nope. Looking in the dumpster. So what's happening? What's happening? Okay, oh, the dog. The dog is like, oh, oh, what, what is, what is that? Did she find my keys? Did she find my keys? It, oh, there he is. There's that. There he is. He found. He found my keys. There it is. Yay! My keys are saved. There are some nice people on this planet. Feels good to get my keys back. Whew! I feel great. I am seriously getting out of this car, guys. I feel nauseous each time I sit inside this car. I don't know, but there's something about this car that makes me feel sick. Now, I posted a video about adding deodorizers in the car. I even changed the cabin filter to change the quality of the air in here, but there's something else going on. Maybe it's just bad energy in here, but I'm selling it and I'm jumping into another car. I've always wanted a Hyundai Elantra and I got one. 10 years old, used, but only has 70,000 miles on it. So for me, it feels really good. Got a really good deal on it and I feel good. That's all that matters at the end of the day. I feel good. I feel great. Is that how you want to do it? I'm going to roll it out like this. Push this down and this comes up. All right? So just go like this. Whee! <laughs> And there she goes, off into the sunset. <sighs> is today a blocking day? It sure is. Oh my god, I'm so Why are you aching? Is it because you fell on your bike? She rode a bike for the first time in her life. 
Well, it's true, and you did a good job until you fell. You're doing great until you weren't. So just so you know, everyone, I got a new car. It's used, but it's newer, because the other one was making me sick. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> So I just dropped her off at work. Whoa. And guess what, everyone? We are going to Universal Studios. We got one week to prepare ourselves for Universal Studios. I'm excited. So Yessie and I are going to Universal Studios. This will be the first time that I've gone on a vacation in a very long time. I'm really excited to go. I can't wait to play with the dinosaurs at the Jurassic Park world or whatever you want to call it. I need gas. Have you guys ever heard of Gas Buddy? This app is pretty cool. It lets me know the cheapest gas stations within the area. This one back here, Sinclair, is the cheapest so far. Let's go to Arco. $3.99. Let's see if this gas station right here is updated it shows 389 oh no credit is 399 so it is right I am at the gas station and it does say 399 all right so that was absolutely accurate thank you for this gas finder app Download this app guys, it's pretty cool if you want to save some money, if you don't mind driving around your area to get the cheapest gas price. Alright. Do you know what I love about being an app developer and project manager? I love having my freedom. If I don't have freedom where I work, then I'm not gonna be happy. I really like my freedom when it comes to running my own business. I get to do what I want, what I want. Okay, I'm trying to get this. So I got my girlfriend a scooter and I'm borrowing her scooter right now. Whee! This scooter that I have goes 15.5 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for a scooter. And you gotta be very careful when you're riding it. And obviously what I'm doing is dangerous because I'm holding my camera while riding the scooter. So this is me just riding along on my scooter as a content creator. I wanna give you guys some tips on running your own business and how much freedom you can have when you can come up with your own service. I just got paid an extra thousand dollars today and it's because I'm providing value. A client approached me to build them an app and I'm getting paid for it and I get about an extra thousand dollars a month. It's the best feeling. I can't seem to vlog and ride the scooter at the same time. I gotta have two hands on this thing and it's so hard to hold the tripod in my hand while riding because I won't be able to brake. It's hard to brake. And I don't wanna wreck this thing. I got this from my girlfriend. And do you know what I have coming in the mail on Monday? I have an electric bike. Monday I will be receiving my electric bike so now my girlfriend and I will be able to ride together around Vegas and also in California because in one week, about a week and a half, we will, we will be going to Universal Studios. I can't wait! Should I get my eyebrows done? I'm um, gonna have to take off my hat and reveal my my hair. Probably. So they can get or can I just flip my hair? You gotta lay down. 
Like, can you just do it like that? I'm like, no, we're gonna have to take your whole... <sighs> I'm going bald. Shh, don't tell anyone. All right, so how do I look? How are my eyebrows? <laughs> do they look cleaner? I'm impressed. Are you? I know it's a girl thing to get my eyebrows done. No. Guys are now people are gonna really think that I shape my eyebrows when they're naturally like this. They're naturally pretty. Whatever. But I clean them up as a dude, it's okay. It's okay to groom yourself. I think it's really important for men to Stay groomed. That's what sucks about gaining weight. You gotta up your pant size. And it, you gotta spend money. So freaking gaining weight costs money. I put on my old jeans and they were too tight, so now I have to like upgrade my waistline. I gotta buy new clothes. God, please don't give me gas. Let's bless our food. <laughs> so this meal right here is about 600 calories and this is 300 calories, total of 900. My total is 1,500 calories for the day. And I'm hovering around 1,500. So this is pretty much dinner, and that's it. I'm done for the day. So we just came back from Ross. We bought a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes for myself and for her. We definitely spoiled ourselves tonight. I we got my eyebrows done. So I got a lot of clothes. Check out the clothes that I bought. While she's back there doing her video, I'm doing mine. I got this shirt, I got this one. Stay positive, stay positive everyone. <laughs> hey, booty shaking back there? I got uh, this shirt, I even got myself a beach hat. I need one of those like beach whistles. <laughs> like I'm a, I'm a lifeguard. Anyways, I got tons of clothes, look at this. Lots and lots of clothes. We're gonna be styling in California. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no shirt, though. You shouldn't have the shirt. But I like it with the shirt. Inside, the white? Yeah. Obviously. The white inside? Mm -hmm. Button or unbutton? What do you think? Unbutton. Unbutton if you have a shirt. And if you have no shirt and you want to reveal some chest, then you can button it up. Sometimes you just got to revamp your life. Revamp your closet. Get rid of things that no longer serve you. Get rid of clothes that you don't ever wear. Like I'm sure you got clothes in your closet that you haven't even put on in like a year. And you keep on holding on to it because you're like maybe one day I'll wear it. No you won't. Throw it away. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting rid of all these t-shirts that I haven't worn in months. I don't need any of these clothes. Donation time. I even got this really cute like shoe rack right here. Perfect for my closet. I mean her closet. It's not mine anymore <laughs> She took she took over you'll see some of our cool outfits when we're in California So stay tuned for the Universal Studios trip our vacation I can't wait to show you guys how much fun we're gonna be having it's gonna be Yessie's first time on a roller coaster <laughs> I see people do this transition all the time watch everybody you see this and then they go huh Oh yeah, you like that? You like that transition? I'm looking good. And that concludes our shopping spree experience. Our Ross Hall. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next vlog video. Mm -hmm.